everyone, I'm back today with another K-pop haul from Catch Up CD. This package should contain five albums, and I had actually originally pre-ordered these albums through G-Market after I made my first G-Market pre-order, but once I saw how long that order was taking to ship out, as well as the extra shipping costs they added on, I did the math and realized it would be cheaper to get the albums through Catch Up CD with the DHL shipping. So I canceled my order on G-Market and order the albums through Catch Up CD. And four of these albums will probably be very familiar to you guys by now, while the fifth one is entirely new. And it looks like we have the albums in two separate packages of bubble wrap this time. Uh-oh. I can see through the bubble wrap that they have sent me the wrong version of one of the albums that I ordered. So this is what was in that first package of bubble wrap, is version two of Monster X's The Connect, which I should have the other three versions in the other package. I ordered the solo version of Olivia Hie's single album, as I have the solo versions of all of the other Luna releases, and it is the solo versions I am collecting. That is not what I received. I have received the Go On and Olivia Hie version, which is not too huge of a deal because the photo books are the same, and the CD itself and the track listing is the same. However, it messes up the flow of my collection and it also contains a set of duo photo cards rather than solo photo cards and the solo photo cards are what I am collecting. Having said that, I have recently decided that I do want to collect a unit card for each Luna unit pairing in addition to the solo cards so I am still going to open this and I'm probably going to keep the photo card and sell the album but I am going to email Catch Up CD. I just got a response back from Catch Up CD apologizing for the mix-up and they said that they will send the correct version on the next business day. They did not mention me having to make any additional payment or send this copy of the album back which if I'm understanding that correctly means they're going to resend the correct version and let me keep this one at no additional cost. So even though I was a little bummed by the mix-up, I am very, very impressed by Catch Up CD's customer service and how they handled that. So because the photo books for both versions are the same, I am going to go ahead and open this one up to take a look at it. I'm probably not going to unbox the other one. So Olivia Hye is, of course, the 12th and final member of the upcoming girl group Luna, and this is her solo album, but it's the duo version of her solo album, which also features member Go On. So this is the Go On and Olivia Hye version. It's my first ever Luna duo version because I've been collecting their solo versions and I don't buy both since the pictures are the same. But you can see at the top this is number 16. It is the 16th Luna release overall, counting the solo subunits and repackages. And it has two songs, Olivia's title track and solo song Egoist. But it's not a full solo song because it actually features a rap from Jinsoul as well. Along with the B-side track, Rosie, which features Olivia Hye, Go On, as well as a rap verse from Heejin. On the front cover, we have Olivia Hye and Go On in their sort of clueless, Eden uniform outfits. And on the spine, we have Luna, Go On, and Olivia Hye, along with credit information. And the back cover has the Luna logo and more credits. All of the Luna albums have very similar, if not identical, construction, which... I appreciate. I'm a huge fan of consistency in album packaging. Inside we have the disc, which is gray. The unit albums are in the members' signature color. It's actually more of a shiny silver. It's very, very pretty. And then we have a brand new picture of Go On and Olivia Hye, which is interesting. I assumed it would be another one of their teaser photos, but I don't think either the cover or that one were a teaser photo. There was a very similar teaser photo, but Olivia had much more of a fake-looking, unhappy smile than she does here. I think Olivia may actually be a really serious contender for my bias in Luna. I was pretty set on having Eve, Hassel, and Jinsel as my three biases, but I really, really like Olivia's song, Egoist, and I really, really like her voice as well. So she could potentially mess up my bias list. <laughs> She's definitely going to be a bias list wrecker, if nothing else, I'm sure. It's crazy to me that she's so young, though. She's actually even younger than Chwery, which is kind of wild. I have to say, I think I like the aesthetic of her music video a little bit better than her photo book, but both are very, very pretty. And here we have my attendance card, 
those are the same for both versions, it would appear. And then we have, oh, I got the photo card I wanted, yes! I recently decided that I do want to collect some of Luna's unit cards as well as their solo cards, and I figured out which unit card I wanted for each unit, because I'm trying to limit myself to one per album. And this was the one that I wanted for Go On and Olivia K. So even though I was disappointed about the mix-up, it actually basically worked out to where I got the unit card I wanted for free, which is awesome. Even though it was initially disappointing, it worked out to be pretty lucky. I really like that picture of her. I like that concept a fair bit. I just really love the way Olivia Kay looks in black. She looks like a gothic princess, and I love it. funny actually how prim and proper she looks in her photo shoot compared to the wild child she was in the music video but I definitely feel like Luna saved one of the best singles and music videos for last and I'm very 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 intrigued to see what's to come with the final unit as well as the full group debut later in the year And I'm very glad that they're taking April off and releasing the subunit in May because I'm actually going to be moving towards the end of April, beginning of May. So <clears throat> if they release the subunit in late May like I'm expecting, I should be able to pre-order that album and do an unboxing of it. Because if they did it in April, I wouldn't be able to because I wouldn't know what address to get it shipped to. And here we have the lyrics for Egoist featuring Jinsol. Egoist is 100% one of my top Luna songs now. For sure, my top three Luna solo singles are Egoist, Singing in the Rain, and New. Here we also have the lyrics for Rosie. It says featuring Heejin, but it's sung by Olivia Hye, Go On, and Heejin. It's interesting to me that they don't credit the previous member. And then we have Olivia Hye's Thanks Too. It looks like she wrote quite a bit, as well as the rest of the album credits. Now I'm going to open this up and see if it is the other three versions of the Monster X album like it is supposed to be. These are correct. We do once again have version 1, version 2, version 3, and version 4. So like the last video, this will not be a full unboxing. I'm just going to open each of them up and see the photo cards that we have inside. We're going to start with version 4. So, for the special card, right off the bat, I can see that I have gotten the 7th and final special card. I have I Am. So now I have pulled all 7 member special cards. I do have a couple duplicates that I will definitely be selling. I will be making a sales post later once I decide for sure what cards I'm going to put up for sale and trade. You know, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and get the cards out of each album and look at the rest of the special cards first and then the regular photo cards. So for my version 3 copy, I got a duplicate of Wanho for the special card. For version 2, I got a duplicate of Minhyuk, so those will both be up for sale. And for version 1... I have another duplicate of Hyungwon. So overall for the special cards, I pulled two Wanhos, two Minhyuks, and two Kihyuns. I will be keeping one of each of those, as those are the members I collect. Three Hyungwons, and then one Juhan, one I Am, and one Shonu. So now I have the photo cards from each album laid out. These are the cards from version 4, version 3, version 2, and version 1. And I put them in order. So the group card is first, then the pre-order selfie card, then the unit photo card, and then the version photo card. So my group card for version 4... I got a duplicate of the white one, that is now my third version of that card, so two of those will be up for sale. For version 3, I got another duplicate of that card. I'm still missing one of the group cards, so we'll see if I pull that one or if I have to try to trade for it. Yeah, I got another duplicate of this version, which I have six of now. And let me guess. Yet another duplicate of that one, so I never pulled the one with the pink background. I just got one of the pastels and then a whole bunch of those two. So all of my duplicates of those are gonna be up for sale. So we'll look at the pre-order cards. I am still missing Minhyuk out of my bias line. I still need Minhyuk's card. I have not pulled his yet. So far I have pulled all duplicates in those. I have two Kihyuns, two Wanhos, two Juhans, and two IMs. So I'm missing Minhyuk's for my personal collection and I also have not seen Kyungwon's or Shonu's cards. So for version four, 
I got a duplicate of I am. Watch it be the same four cards again. Watch it be the same four cards again, because I got I am in both of my other version fours, I believe. Oh, no, we, we got another I am. If these are all I am. <gasps> I got Minyuk! Yay! Oh my goodness, for a second I thought I was about to get four I am's in a row. So I have full Minhyuk's pre-order card. So I now have full all of the pre-order cards that I needed for my personal collection. So everything else and all the duplicates will be up for trade or for sale. And my final pre-order card, I got a duplicate of Wanho. So I now have three Wanhos, two Kihyuns, four IMs, and two Jukons. So I never did see Hyung Wans or Show News cards, but I did get Minhyuk. So I'm very, very happy about that, that I don't have to trade for it. The next cards I have in the stack are the unit cards, but I'm not sure if I want to save those for last or if I want to save the individual cards for last. Let's do the individual cards. So for version 4, I got Hyungwon, so that one will be up for sale or trade to Minhyuk, Kihyun, or Wanho. For version 3, I got a duplicate of Kihyun, so he will be up for sale or for trade to Minhyuk or Wanho. For version 2... I got Minhyuk. I don't have this card yet. Oh my goodness. So I got, wait, so I got two Minhyuks in version two. That's awesome. I very rarely have luck with Minhyuk, so that's cool that I got a double Minhyuk. And we're going to save that version one card for last, because I have Minhyuk and Kikens for that one. I'm hoping to get Wanho's. So now we're going to do the unit cards. I know I'm doing this all out of order today. From version four, I got... Wanho and Jukon. Even though Wanho is one of my biases, I probably will not be keeping this card. But, like I said, I'm going to make a sales and trades post once I know for sure what I'm keeping and what I'm trading. For version 3, I got a duplicate of the Minhyuk and Juhon card. I have a friend who is searching for this one, so I will see if they are interested in getting that one from me. And then for version 2, I got Shoki. Very, very cute. But it looks like I used up all of my luck with the unit cards on my first pull because I got both Wanhyuks and I haven't pulled any of the Kihyuk or Kiho cards, unfortunately. I haven't gotten hardly any dupes. That Minhyuk and Juhon one was the only duplicate I've gotten so far. Watch me have just jinxed myself. No, I did not. This is a new card, but once again, even though it does have Wanho in it, I will probably be selling or trading this one because I really am hoping for the Kiho and Kihyuk card. It is a little bit disappointing that I didn't pull any of them, but I am very satisfied that I did pull the Wanhyuk cards. And then finally, last but not least, my version 1 regular photo card, which I am really hoping to be a certain card, and I have a feeling it will not be. <gasps> oh my god! I actually pulled Wanho! I really, 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 really did not think that's what this card was going to be, but it is. I actually pulled Minhyuk, Kihyun, and Wanho in my three version 1 albums. That is very impressive because the odds of that are not high at all. I was seriously expecting to get a duplicate or one of the other members because I only bought, you know, three of each copy, but sure enough, I actually got all three of my biases for version 1, which is awesome. So I have all of the solo cards I want for version 1, and I have... Minhyuk for version 2, and Kihyun for version 3. So I need all of the other solo cards for Wanho, Minhyuk, and Kihyun. And that is what all of the other solo cards will be up for trade for. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you would like to see more unboxings or K-pop hauls like this one, you can check out the other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.